Guys, I have I have filmed and refilmed the intro for this like 12 times and I'm sick of it and I'm not doing it again. I'm using the the Lottie Bubble Tea Primer. I actually filmed myself doing my skincare and I watched it back and I was like, thanks, I hate it. And then I fucking deleted it. I deleted it and I shouldn't have deleted it because I guarantee you if I would have watched it back while I was in a better mood, I probably would have been fine with it. But I made a very rash decision to just delete it and, and try to redo it. And every time that I tried to redo it after that, I was completely and totally unsuccessful. I love that for me. I hate the way this shit looks. I hate the way that it looks. The little like beads in it, I hate it. I fucking hate it. So every time that I look at it, I'm like, Ugh. but I paid $10 for it, so I'm gonna use it. I have a little bit of jaundice right now, so I'm just kind of like gonna use one of my uh one of my foundations and just kind of hope that it looks all right-ish. Oh man, this might be a little too light. That's okay. I will take too light over too dark. It's a little easier to fix too light than it is to fix too dark. Um, yeah, I'm having a heck of a day. What am I not? This is a crying channel. And you know, by having a heck of a day, I mean, nothing's really happening. I'm just spiraling because I have that PMS anxiety. I love life. By the way, my, my eyebrow ring looks super agitated. That's like a dry patch of skin. It's so gross. I don't, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Yeah, it is the Matte and Poreless. There's a couple different versions of it. I just bought the one that they had at the Dollar General. <laughs> Welcome to my poor channel. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I can't remember what the fuck I was talking about. My brain got erased. I have an Etch-a-Sketch brain. I was saying that I was just gonna put a little bit of this on and see what it looked like and then just kind of build it up from there instead of just putting a bunch on at one time, which is usually what I do, especially before I have something important to do. I love making myself look like the peanut butter baby. I'm actually kind of excited to move from dry ass winter skin into oily ass summer skin. Like I'm kind of excited for it, honestly. I'm pretty over having dry skin. It's been like in the 60s and 70s over the last couple of days. And I just checked the weather channel and it's not supposed to be lower than like 55 over at least the next two weeks. So the grease may be coming in hot. I'm, re I'm ready for it. You know what I mean? I'm going to be using the Flower, uh, the brand Flower Get Real Serum Concealer. This may be like the last time that I get to use this if the weather stays warm because it's got like a serum in it. Oh my God, there's like little hairs from my brush all over my face. That makes me want to slap myself. I can't stand that shit. Ooh. There's like one on my forehead and one on my nose or my nose. I, yeah, I said it backwards. I was like, oh my god, bitch, you're so stupid. I just said it backwards. I'm very nice to myself. <laughs> I'm ready for spring weather, but I'm never ready for summer weather. Like, if it could stay spring and fall weather all year round, I would be so fucking happy with that. But I, you know what? You know what? I'm going to say something controversial. I'm going to say something, that, a very unpopular opinion. I fucking hate summer. I hate summer summer i don't like 85 90 95 degree weather i don't like it i don't like feeling like i can't escape the heat i fucking hate it i there's only so much that you can do to cool off you know what i mean there's only so much that you can do to cool off like i can't i can't take my skin off what am i supposed to do take cold showers all day like it's just it's not i hate it I'm happy with like 65 to 75 degree weather. Like if, if I could have that all year round, oh my God. I am going to be using the Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Powder to bake my face. It actually kind of looks like it might be a little too dark now that I've like put a lot more of it on. I just wish my fucking skin would make up its mind. I wish that my skin would make up its mind. I am like one of those people 
that I cannot find the right color foundation. And a lot of people have told me like, maybe you need to like mix several colors together. Probably, honestly, probably, but I'm so fucking like, when I sit down to do my makeup, it's like muscle memory and I go on autopilot and that just sounds like so much work. You know what I mean? Like that just sounds like so much work. I am never somebody that finds like the perfect shade. It's either one shade too dark or one shade too light or worse. I'm getting powder all over me. My nose just started running and you know what's really funny is I've heard that that happens to a lot of people because touching your face makes your nose run. My nose just started fucking running and I'm not happy about it because it's gonna fuck up my foundation under my nose. Anyways, um, I use the LA Girl Brow Pomade and the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pin. My eyebrows are always bad forever and always don't look at them. I just dropped my mirror on the floor when I was picking this up out of my makeup box and then hit my head. When I was getting back up, it was so fine. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer and I use a lot of it, but I'm gonna keep saying this as long as I'm using this in my video because um, I don't want to take anybody seeing me use a product as me 100% endorsing it. I don't know if the one that I have is like a fluke. I don't know if I just like got a bad one off of the shelf, but this used to be my favorite eyeshadow primer. And then I ran out of it and my husband went and picked me up another one. And I don't know if their formula has changed or something, but I swear the formula in this one is a lot more like oily and watery than the old one. The old one, like the one that I have in the old packaging, because the packaging has slightly changed. See, this is the old one and this is the new one. It's very slight. It's still kind of the same concept. Well, it's actually is the same concept, just updated and the font is different. Um, but I swear to you, it's different because this honestly reminded me a lot of the um, Urban Decay Potion Primer. Is that what it's called? Primer Potion? Whatever it is. I haven't bought that shit in years, but it reminds me of the Urban Decay Primer. And this one is kind of like more watery and oily than the older one. I don't know. Like I said, it could be a fluke. But also because they changed their packaging, they could have changed their formula. I don't know. I'm just going to give that disclaimer and will continue to give that disclaimer as long as I'm using it in my videos. But I'm going to use it all because I have it. It's the same way that I feel about that Lottie primer. It makes me sick to my stomach to look at the, like, the primer itself because the little bubbles in it. But um, I have it, so I'm using it. I spent $10 on that bitch. I'm using it all. This is a poor channel, okay? We only know how to be poor. Um, I'm gonna be dipping into the Moonstone palette. I've only done one look with this and I did a gray look with it. <sighs> I kinda wanna do like a darker look. I, in my head thought, mm, let's do, let's do brown. My go-to is like nudes and neutrals or like really bright eyeshadow. I like swing wildly between it. I kinda wanna dip into one of these like, like like this one right here and i don't know it is kind of a black is it this one yeah and i really like this one but it, it's gray let's let's do the darker one let's do the dark let's do the glittery black so i am currently filming a vlog at the same time that i am filming this makeup video i'm kind of trying to get a day ahead because we do have a children's hospital visit coming up soon and I don't vlog a lot on those days so I'm kind of trying I'm just trying to get a day ahead so that we don't have to worry about it on that day children's hospital days are always a very long day they're always a very long exhausting day for everyone 
Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm currently filming a vlog on top of filming this video. And in said vlog, you're going to hear me say, I'm getting, you're going to watch me put my hair extensions in and hear me say, oh, there's a fuzzy on this. Get your ass out of here. Um, you're going to hear me say that I'm not going to wash my hair, that I'm putting my, my extensions back in to try to like deter myself from washing my hair because I want my green to last as long as possible. Guys, my nails, for those of you that don't know, and I know a lot of you are probably like, Shay, we all know. The problem is, and it's not a problem at all, um, is that my makeup videos oftentimes attract new viewers and they get better views than any of my other videos. So I always feel the need to like over explain things. Um, I wear press-ons and press-ons soak up shit like badly. I started noticing that my nails have like a green tint to them. These nails are ruined. These nails are ruined. They have a green tint to them, a green grayish brown tint to them. And um, I realize the only time that that has ever happened to me that my, my, um, my hair dye has transferred that badly was like when I didn't rinse my hair well enough and I just got that new shampoo yesterday and I was like really excited to use it so I went ahead and I I went ahead and I washed my hair it's, it's up in my little thingy and it's drying I have no idea how the green's gonna look after the first wash we're just all gonna have to find out together I just dropped my makeup brush and it flipped across the room I dropped my makeup palette. I feel like I'm very lucky that nothing busted. I'm very lucky that the that the cover didn't shatter. Oh my god. Okay, so I know that I just put giant wings on my eyelids with uh, eyeshadow, but I can't be without wings. I cannot be without wings. I'm gonna be using the Revolution Slick Flick, Slick Flick. Not hard, not hard. Okay, so I'm going to be using the LA Colors Gel Eyeliner uh, to do my bottom liner. Did you know that's what that's used for? Guys, you know what I have stuck in my head? I have, yesterday, last night, I had the fucking song from Snow White. You know when the dwarves are in, like, the diamond mine? And they're singing, like, we dig, 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 dig in a mine the whole day through. That... I had that shit stuck in my head so bad because I was playing a rags to riches on um, Sims and I was going around town and digging up like rocks and gems and flowers like a fucking squirrel to sell so that I could build myself a mini house. Um, and so I had that stuck in my head and then I went downstairs a little bit ago and uh, Dee was watching Moana. So I have the fucking Alyssa Cara song stuck in my head oh almost dropped my mirror again i have the Alyssa cara uh version of the moana song stuck in my head the end credits song stuck in my head anyways welcome to my channel i'm gonna use the the same moonstone palette the same profusion moonstone palette did you see all the fucking fingerprints on that shit what am i five and this is an ipad i'm gonna use the shade witchy in it and I'm just gonna kind of, actually, I don't think I'm gonna use this. It seems like it might be a little big. I'm just gonna kind of smoke out the bottom with it. I had to take my hair, like my headband off so my hair could dry all the way. Thus far, it doesn't look too bad. Like from what I can see of the green after the first wash, it doesn't look that bad. Um, I had to, go get these i was gonna wear a different pair but i think i'm gonna wear these ones instead actually i don't know i might wear these ones i might go ahead and wear these ones actually i am gonna go ahead and wear these ones 
Okay, so while the glue on my eyelashes is drying down a little bit, we're gonna use this Essence I Heart Extreme blah, 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 blah. That's the... Wow, it sure did take black shit and put it around my eyes. It did, it, it did great. You did great, sweetie. Wow, those sure did make me look like I have eyelashes. My baking powder has not baked enough. Usually when I do makeup videos, they, ended, they end up being like really, really long. And so my baking powder just has time to sit there and warm up to the, to the same, you know, temperature as my face and like mix with like my foundation and the oils in my skin. Because I haven't been sitting here running my mouth for an hour, it hasn't had the chance to do that. So I feel like I might have to save that for like the way, way end. Cause I did, it's not ready. And if I dust it off now, I feel like all it's gonna do is sit in my cracks and my crevices and just bring out my, bring out my crow's feet that somebody will probably be a bitch about because I said that. I'm gonna use this Ayani uh, eyeliner to line my lips black because we're gonna be trying out this Lime Crime um, black velvet lipstick, which I've never used before. It was $15 which for me is a lot. $15 is a lot, it's a lot. It's not, but the thing is like, it's not much more than like the NYX lipstick that I wear, like the liquid lingerie, the black liquid lingerie that I wear. Um, $15 is steep, $15 is steep for a pour, but I've always wanted it. And they have Lime Crime at our Sally's and it took me a while to catch it because it's always sold out. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I asked everybody's opinion on it probably months ago and uh, they were mixed. Some people said they loved it and it was their favorite. Some people said they like it and some people were like, it's awful, it's the worst. We'll see, we'll see. Even if I'm not like in love with it, I'll mix it with other lipsticks and use it. I rarely, rarely, rarely wear like black lipstick by itself. Unless I'm just like planning on taking like a selfie and which is like rare. I rarely take selfies um, and wiping it off or like immediately eating or drinking afterwards. So I don't care what it looks like, but I usually like nine times out of 10 put on like a cream black or like a black lip gloss on top of it because black liquid lipsticks like they do what Sophia Nygaard calls the butthole thing like very quickly which is where they wear around or they wear off around the inside of your mouth because liquid lipstick is fucking drying it all is this shit broke as soon as I touched my mouth with it I'm hoping that it's not like empty now I'm hoping it's not empty now I gotta use my lol surprise uh sharpener to sharpen it guys this thing works so well it works so well. I feel like Farmer Jenkins about it. Y'all laughed at me. It works. It works. Oh my God, I just spent like 45 seconds like frantically looking around me because I didn't see this lipstick because I was looking for a lipstick and not a red package. And everybody gets mad at me when I call myself stupid. I need the person in a 2002 Honda Civic to stop revving their engine outside of my fucking house. Are you done? I think they're done. All right, let's give this shit a try. I opened it. I opened it. The applicator is so small. I opened it and kind of sniffed on it a little bit. It's very watery, which I don't mind. One thing that uh, someone said in my comments was that they felt like the formula is very streaky, which I kind of can see. Oh, I knew it. I knew this was gonna be one of those ones that is gonna get all over my teeth. It doesn't really wanna stick in the corners of my mouth. But honestly, that's a lot of lipstick. That's a lot of particularly, ugh. It's all over my teeth, bitch. 
that's a lot of like black lipstick in particular and the whole it getting on my teeth thing is not unique to it that happens with my uh my nyx liquid lingerie a lot as well i mean i don't hate it i don't hate it the uh it it not really wanting to stay on the corners of my mouth thing is why i use things like the uh like like the cream lipsticks that i put on top of my black lipstick is it gonna dry like this or is it gonna dry matte let's wait a minute and find out all right so sorry that i say all right so much it's just like a comma for me it's just like you know that it's, a, it's like a comma for me. The way that like is for a lot of people, like is also a comma for me as well. So I don't hate it. I'm probably never going to buy it again, but I don't hate it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some Wet n Wild over top of it, or at least in this area to kind of soften the way that it feels. I still don't feel like there's been enough time for me to like dust this off without it being like super ashy but at the same time like my back is killing me and I'm tired of sitting here so I might just say fuck it and do it anyway I might just say fuck it and do it anyway and just put on a uh, setting spray and just kind of hope it'll all melt together I think I'm going to use this little poofy and kind of smudge it around a little bit kind of press it in a little bit see if that helps with the ashiness of it uh because I, I just, I can't sit here anymore. My back is killing me. I'm on the rag. And when I'm on my period, I do get like cramps. I do get like cramps when you think of cramps. But I mostly get back pain because I, uh, my uterus is tilted towards, it's like tilted like this. It's like this. It's like way tilted back. So I feel it in my back a lot. And yeah, it's not very pleasant. And my seat is not very comfortable. This is like the most uncomfortable fucking thing. I've got it all like jacked up with pillows to try to like help with it. No, it's awful. It's awful. Or it could be that I'm on my period and also a few days ago, I flew down a set of cement stairs. <laughs> that actually worked really well. I just kind of pressed it in, which is exactly what these little poof poofies are for. They're just to press, there's like, something on my fucking face what is it i don't know i'm gonna end up scratching off my makeup i don't care i do care but i'm gonna say i don't care i can't believe i haven't added glitter to this what the fuck is wrong with me i'm gonna be using the maybelline city bronzer in an attempt to give myself some angelina jolie and maleficent cheekbones it never works out it never works out in my favor but god i keep trying I still, I still keep trying. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed, blah, 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 blah. This stuff's super, super pigmented. I'm not feeling a dark blush kind of day. So we're just gonna put a little bit on. Yeah, that's good. Just gonna put a little bit on. And the only reason I feel like I'm not feeling dark blush today is because I just, I'm thinking about the fact that I still have to straighten my hair and put in my extensions and I'm like totally and completely fucking overwhelmed by it. To put glitter on or not to put glitter on, that's the fucking question. Cause I like this, I like this as is, but guys, I have the fucking too much gene. I massively have the too much gene and I'm really, really good about just doing too much, about just, just fucking around with things until I regret it. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? when you when you step back and you're like, I didn't need to do all that, and then suddenly it looks awful. I'm really good about doing that, especially when it comes to like glitter. I want to put glitter on. So what if I just do? What if I just put like a little bit on the bottom, and I just kind of fill it out and see how I'm feeling about it, and then if I'm not happy with it, put a little on top. Maybe this is the Profusion glitter liner. By the way, they do sell profusion glitter liner year round but i got this in a holiday package and i have bought 
the glitter liners that they have at Walmart, and they're not as good as this one. They're not as good as this one. Hold on. They're called Bling It On, and guys, they work. They're fine. They get the job done. They're just not as good as this one, but they're like three bucks, so... You can make it work. I'm making it kind of sound like this stuff is hard to work with. It's not hard to work with. It just has a different formula than this one. I mean, it works. I just need to shut up. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna straighten my hair. I'm gonna straighten my hair. I don't know if I feel like putting up with my cinchins jabbing and stabbing me, but I'm at least gonna straighten my hair. I think my hair looks cute. I don't want to put in hair extensions. Guys, that took me less than five minutes. That took me less than five minutes. I don't want to put in my hair extensions. My hair looks so cute. It's weird to be nice to myself. All right, guys, I guess because I'm not putting in any hair extensions, we're done. We're done. And I will see you uh, tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>